This is the National Navy UDT Seal Museum. It's located in Fort Pierce, Florida. They uh, honor the uh, Navy SEALs, their history, and uh, also includes many artifacts. So let's explore. So the Navy SEALs, they're sea, air, and land. And everything in this museum is authentic. There's no uh, replicas at all. You have the uh, frogman representing the sea. Paratroopers representing the air. And uh, Navy SEAL wearing night vision goggles, goggles representing the land. First display is the war against terrorism following the attack on September 11th. So this is a limestone from the Pentagon where it got blasted um, by the aircraft and uh, looks like the limestone melted. This is a section of a steel beam from the World Trade Center. And it actually still has the concrete attached. New York City Fire Department helmet. This is an actual flag from uh, ISIS, terrorist organization that uh, took over large sections of Syria and Iraq during the uh, Obama administration. This is a uniform worn by Navy SEALs during Operation Neptune Spear. And this is a Navy SEAL who's uh, demonstrating the use of this machine gun. It, this has the look of a high-tech canoe. I'm not really sure what it does, but it probably moves at an astonishingly fast speed. It's another sea vehicle. And it looks... Actually, I've never seen anything like it before. I believe this is a uh, motorized uh, underwater. You hold you hold onto the uh, handles on the side, and it pulls you at fast speeds through the water. This would be a uh, UTV, utility terrain vehicle. Room for three. This is another utility terrain vehicle. Looks like a very modern version of a Jeep. On display we have a series of uh, scopes and uh, machine guns. Pretty high-powered machine gun there. This one fires a harpoon or something, or a, uh, something that, that catches, a, catches a ledge. That's a big machine gun. And some uh, canine apparatus. So this is a uh, soft armor plate vest, but it also has a flotation device. These are uh, jet suit arms. And always handy is the, uh, the compass, the watch, the whistle, and the pliers. Some communication equipment. A Soviet flag from the time of the Cold War. This is a Somalian flag from the, top, the time of uh, Operation Restore Hope in Mogadishu in 1992-1993. Uh, Gas mask and a vintage laptop. This is a piece of the Berlin Wall.
Now this seat was captured during the Panama operation in 1989. And mask, fins, and a Panamanian flag. About time of the Panamanian operation. So a variety of uh, frogman gear, aqualungs, and fins, goggles. Big uh, twin aluminum tank here. Captured an Iranian flag from the time of the 1987-1988 uh, conflict with Iran. This is an Iraqi flag captured during Operation uh, Desert Shield. A medical kit, everything you need to uh, treat wounds and sew up wounds. Variety of gauges and compasses, knives, crippers, Swiss Army knives. And this mask dates back to World War II. Very vintage. Oh, these fins date back to World War II as well. Very rudimentary compared to what we have today. A mask is from the Vietnam era. All this uh, equipment's from the Vietnam War era, including the fins. This is a diorama of Navy SEALs operating during the uh, Vietnam War. Patrols up from seven to 14 men. More displays of machine guns, including on the bottom an M60 machine gun. We have a uh, grenade launcher, second from the bottom, and uh, the top one, and, and some uh, handguns. Night vision scope. Some other machine guns. This one's identified as a Carl Gustav MK45. Uh, and Luger. And next to that, a Walther P38. Smith and Wesson model, uh, interesting, uh, interesting weapon. Grenade launcher. This looks like it's a homemade bamboo gun. Um, AK-47. A diorama. It's uh, showing Navy SEAL. Looks like World War II era with those goggles, and he has a blasting machine, so he's about to detonate something. So a periscope. Cast and recovery this is called a snare. It looks like it's homemade. It looks like electrical tape. And some other type of cord. This is the World War II display. This is an OSS knife, which is precursor of the CIA. So eight months after the attack on Pearl Harbor, scouts and raiders units were formed from the ranks of both the U.S. Navy and Army and would eventually serve in China, Burma, India, Europe, North Africa, the Pacific Theater, and Alaska. In January 1943, the Scouts and Raiders School was relocated from Little Creek, Virginia, to Fort Pierce, Florida, where it became the sole responsibility of the U.S. Navy. So I guess that's uh, why the... Navy SEALs Museum is located in Fort Pierce. It's kind of uh, almost one of the birthplace during World War II. It's a huge machine gun. A Thompson submachine gun. And some uh, World War II era rifles. Top, uh, some Colt pistol revolvers. Uh, M1 carbine. British MKV jungle carbine. And the third one is a Springfield rifle. This is a mortar with a uh, opened up um, mortar round. And this is a, uh, it's an M1 helmet. It was worn by William Livesey, and he landed on uh, Ormond Beach, Normandy wearing this helmet. It's 
some German rifles from World War II, or an Italian one of those, the first one, a Mauser. Third one is also Italian, Carcano. Probably captured in North Africa. A couple of uh, German helmets. The uh, one on the uh, right is, if you say, it's a German Africa Corps helmet. So most of the stuff is still around here in the world today. They're kind of running to it. They find munitions, they find stuff. And a pair of uh, machine guns. This is a Japanese uh, uh, anti-boat mine. And part of the job of the Navy SEALs would be to... to uh, eliminate those mines. Japanese handgun, Type 38 carbine, Type 2 paratroop rifle. The third one is a Japanese sniper uh, rifle and a saw underneath it. Type 92 heavy machine gun. At the top a bayonet and a hand grenade, fragmentation hand grenade, and then some, uh, some Japanese Rifles. So that's that's the river car by the and that's saw and training center. The bottom some interesting uh, helmets. On the right is a Japanese helmet from Okinawa, where they fought almost to the last man. Um, Japanese um, army officer's cap on the far left. It's a type ninety six light machine gun and a Japanese mortar shell. This helmet was worn by Severin E. Lanier on um, an invading Borneo in late June 1945. It saved his life. A Japanese sword and sheath. This is a Japanese silk prayer flag. The Japanese rising sun flag. Captured during World War II. This is a special operations craft, Riverine. The back side of the craft. I guess it. This is where you would steer the craft into an operation. This is a special operations craft, MKV. It's almost big enough to land a helicopter back here. There's room for a whole squad. This is the SDV button. It's a SEAL team submersible delivery vehicle. A waterproof hatch right here. And inside compartment. These are Apollo space capsules. They were used by the UDT uh, recovery teams during the Apollo missions. This is an Iranian gunboat. It was uh, uh, captured during Operation Earnest Will during the 1987-1988 uh, conflict with Iran. This is a large LCP, Landing Craft Personnel.
This is a PBR, Patrol Boat River. This is another Patrol Boat River. This is an MK8 Mod Zero. It's a seal delivery vehicle. This is a Mark 9 swimmer delivery vehicle. Very fascinating design. This is a landing craft uh, ramped. And the ramp would be right here. So this ramp would uh, collapse down and allow the uh, soldiers to emerge. This is a Sea Fox special warfare craft. It also has a ramp on the back. This is a World War II beach defense pillbox. A series of more obstacles, uh, beach obstacles from World War II in many cases would make it impossible to uh, move trucks and tanks uh, through here. This is the first of a series of obstacles on display. That is a gigantic uh, lizard. This is the Memorial Garden. And commemorates the wars that the, and operations that the Navy SEALs participated in beginning with World War II. This is the U.S. Navy SEAL Combat Assault Dog Monument. This is entitled Never Out of the Fight, including a canine. This is a naked warrior statue. commemorates the uh, underwater personnel. This statue recognizes those who received the Medal of Honor. And this statue was uh, donated by Ross Perot. And this is the Navy SEALs obstacle course. We might give it a go. So uh, frog feet for training. And they would begin their training on the grinder. And this is a slab of the grinder that was preserved. Now looking at the various uh, parts of this obstacle course, this is the hand walk. And some other parts of this, this would be um, 
Guess you have to uh, hurdle these logs, climb the rope, and then somehow uh, climb to the top of that tower. There's also some uh, walls to jump over and a wall to climb beyond that. All right, so climbing over these logs, climbing over this barricade, getting through this uh, maze. Uh, monkey bars. The Burma Bridge, the infamous Burma Bridge. So, it looks doable. I think we'll give it a try. Okay. Help! <laughs> All right, so I chickened out on the obstacle course, but uh, if you enjoyed uh, this day with us here at the uh, National Navy UDT SEAL Museum, then uh, please click like, subscribe to our channel, and we will see you on our next adventure.